Hey guys, so if you want to transfer all of your WhatsApp data, be it any chats, photos, videos, or any other media files from your Android device or to your iPhone device, then my friends, you are in the right place. Because in this video, I'll be showing you the best secure way to do that. So I'm going to be talking about three methods and in those three methods, first one is to use a companion device. So for that, you have to first make sure that you have installed WhatsApp on your iPhone, then open WhatsApp app and tap on agree and continue. And when it asks for your phone number, just tap on the option button on the top right. And from here, select link as companion device. Now you'll get a QR code on your Android device and you need to scan it so that you can use this. So open WhatsApp on your Android phone and from here, select the three dots. And as you scan it, your iPhone will be linked and all of the chats will load almost instantly on your iPhone device. So pretty easy method, right? But let's say you don't want your iPhone to be a link device and you don't want to make it your primary WhatsApp device as well. So in that case, you need to do it in another way. And for that, your iPhone needs to be in the setup screen mode. That means if your iPhone has already been set up, then you'll have to factory reset it. But keep in mind that this will erase all of your data from your iPhone. And that is where a second method comes. That is to first reset your iPhone device and then use the move to iOS app from Android so that you can transfer the chats from Android to iPhone. So to do that, we'll first go to iPhone settings app, then here tap on general, then go to the bottom of the list and here select transfer or reset iPhone. And then select erase all content and settings, press continue, here tap on erase iPhone and then your iPhone will restart and then it will put up the hello screen. So just swipe up and afterwards just select your language and region. Then select font size and then tap on setup without another device. After that connect your phone to the internet. Then follow all the prompts until you land on transfer your apps and data from this page. And here you need to select from Android. Now iPhone's work is done, let's move on to the Android device and here you have to first go to the Play Store app and you have to download Move to iOS app here. Let's open the Play Store and search for Move to iOS and just install this app. Now after opening the app, press on agree. Now follow the prompts and allow all the permission and then select continue to find your code and continue on your iPhone the same way that you did in your Android. After that, you just need to put the code that you see on your iPhone on your Android device. And if you get any pop-up, then just select on connect. And after that, both the devices will sync up. Then on your Android phone from the transfer data page, go all the way down and here select WhatsApp. And then press on start, then tap on next, and then continue your data transfer as it will begin also. And after it's complete, you'll see transfer complete on both devices. Then just press done. And after that, just press on continue. Now let's go back to the iPhone. Just set up your iPhone as usual. And after your iPhone is set up, you'll see WhatsApp on your home screen. So just tap on it and download it from the App Store. And once it's downloaded, let's open it. After that, you'll be asked for your phone number. So just put it in and verify. Then you'll also get the prompt to move your chat from Android. And then tap on next to move it on your iPhone. And then you will see all of the previous WhatsApp conversations and media files that were on your Android device which is now on iPhone 15. And that's how you can transfer WhatsApp from your Android device to your iPhone. Now let's just say the first two methods are not working for you but you still need to get that WhatsApp data from your Android to iPhone somehow. Then here some third party apps might help you as that is our third method as well which is to use third party apps such as copy my data. Now before using this third party app here are two things to keep in mind that is you have to first install this app on both of these devices that is Android and iPhone and you also have to make sure that you are using the same Wi-Fi network as well on Android and iPhone and with this method you can only transfer your WhatsApp data from Android to iPhone but you still cannot transfer the chats for that to happen you have to use the first two methods only. So now let's see how to do that. First of all, install copy my data app on both Android and iPhone. And once you've done that, open them simultaneously. And here first, it will ask you for the Wi-Fi settings. After that's done, just tap on continue. And on Android, you have to select the iPhone device. So just tap on the iPhone one. Now you'll get in code on the Android device. So you have to enter that code on your iPhone device. After that's done, on your Android device, select which of the data you want to send it to your iPhone, be it any photos, videos, or contact, or any other type of file. Once that's done, 
transaction just happen continue and from your android to your iphone all of that data which you selected will be transferred and as you can see on the screen the selected data which i took from my android is shown on the iphone as well in just few simple steps so these were the three best methods by which you can transfer your whatsapp data or chats from your android device to your iphone device i really hope that this video has helped you if it helped you then definitely like on this video share it with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to our channel that is geekify and with that i'll see you guys in the next video till then keep enjoying your life and let me also enjoy my life